as the famous sign says in the players' tunnel, this is Anfield. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. We are at the round of 16 stage in the Carabao Cup. It's Liverpool against Newcastle United. Yeah, starting to get towards the business end of this competition now. And cup matches are always, they always have a different flavour to league contests. So I'm expecting a really good match here. Number five, Jorginho Vinaldo. What a first season Mo Salah had for Liverpool, having moved back into the Premier League. So many individual awards, so many goals. Quite incredible. What you do not want to do is show him inside onto that left foot. And number 10, Sadil Mane. Two changes for Liverpool. In goal is Alisson. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joe Gomez at the back. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And Roberto Firmino is the one striker. Newcastle United's lineup. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required I think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield it's Salah now <laughs> referee has blown and he's given the free kick Well, it is very early in the game and he might make a rod for his own back, the referee, if he had produced a card. We perhaps wouldn't end with uh, 11 players on the pitch, so uh, I'd applaud him for that. Yeah, I would as well, but, you know, sometimes the referee can get in trouble for not refereeing the game in the same way from the first minute to the 90th. It's long. Well, the ref's getting slaughtered by those fans who were convinced it should have been a pen. Trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Now Sadio Mane. Right man in the right place here. Mane. Well, now they can attack and he's got support with it. Straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Room for the cross. In a great position to pull it back. They ripped the opposition apart on the break. Newcastle United. Incisive, deadly. It was a manager's dream, that counter-attack. The way they moved the ball about there, Martin, before creating the chance was really good. They picked the right pass every time there. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. So that goal has put Newcastle in front. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Matt Ritchie. Surely! Oh, they could have pushed on if he put that away. They've got to show the killer touch, they really have. Henderson. 
Here's Andrew Roberts. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. To Robertson. Now Sadio Mane. And it is Firmino who gets the ball to feet in a deeper position. Wijnaldum. That's well-timed. Dangerous position. Long. Cut out the pass. Well, no one's picking him up in the wide area. This could be dangerous. Chance to get it into the middle thanks to the referee playing the advantage. The opposition looking to close him down. Probably expected this. Newcastle trailing in the possession stats. Well, they do say possession is nine-tenths of the law. But uh, not the case here. They've used the... He's seen the shot. He's blocked the shot well. And it's with Newcastle again. Break quickly when they get possession. His teammates have recognised the potential of this attack. In the clear in front of goal. A marvellous breakaway from Newcastle, rounded off in style. Well, that was clinical to say the least, wasn't it? The way they moved the ball so quickly forward. It was a great race, a great pace and a fantastic goal. Well, how quickly did they go from back to front there? What a counter-attack. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Well, I think this manager was pessimistic coming into this game and uh, those fears are being realised now. His team trailing by uh, a good margin. Restarting at 2-0. Wijnaldum. Trent Alexander-Arnold looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. It's going to be a throw after that challenge. He made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Not yet the Liverpool that we expect to see. Looking down at the manager, he's pacing up and down, less than happy with this. It's about finding the right pass now. That's cut out. And the decision for the added time is three minutes. Three minutes of added time. Jordan Henderson. Roberto Firmino. He's got skill with the ball. Backing himself in the... Bit of a desperate lunge, that. And he's going to get booked for it, I think. That's going to be yellow, and it's going to the Newcastle United player. Yeah, I think in this day and age, he would have been expecting that. Well, let's have another look at that tackle again, Alan. He's caught the man and not the ball. No doubt a foul. <laughs> Roberto Firmino. And there goes the whistle for half-time, and the scoreline is 2-0. Well, this could be the halfway point in the cup tie, and we've got one team leading, a chance of progressing in this tournament. Well, the trailing team, I think, just got to pick themselves up during the half-time break and come out and produce a little bit better. And the referee blows. He started the second half here at Anfield. 
Manquillo. Long. Pietro Willems. Able to make the interception. The hosts have controlled possession here so far, but you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing, that's bad enough, but no real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not able to find a way through that defence and make the keeper work. Well, that's a wasted throw. He's given it straight to the opposition. Coming up for you on EA Sports. Don't forget, don't miss this, the coverage of the Premier League fixture. Liverpool, they'll be facing Aston Villa away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Well, the losing team have got to do something, and this is it, the substitution. I think he'd love to shoot, but he can't from this angle. Got to get a good ball into the box. And it is a substitute coming on for an already booked player. Hit on the volley. Well, he used the inside of his head well, but not the outside, off target. Yeah, just slightly missed time, that one. As for Newcastle United, their next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing West Ham United in their next match. And judging on the form so far, I can't see much to split them. Substitution for Liverpool. Steered through by Roberto Firmino. And shoots! That's a great interception. Roberto Firmino. Well, it's called offside. The flag went up. Well, the opposition pushed up. They were defending a high line there, taking a chance. They decided to make a change. And being behind, you can understand that. Liverpool want to make an alteration. They're going to bring a new player on. Well, he's confident with the ball at his feet, isn't he? Oh, that's a penalty. More trouble. Well, this might just be the nail in the coffin. Well, the referee has given a penalty, but he hasn't booked the offender. Well, quite often in that circumstance, you would see the yellow card produced. He might be a bit fortunate there. Well, now they're behind. They've got to try and switch things around. And here comes a substitution. Great penalty. And that has got the goal from the penalty spot. Well taken. Yeah, I mean, this boy is a composed penalty taker. And he showed it there. Really, really cool strike that. Oh, he's got to make a change, this manager, because uh, it's men against boys. He needs to give them a lift, a substitution, I would imagine. Well, we're underway again.
again, and you just wonder how many more they can get today. Fabinho. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Set up to play on the break now. Offside. The officials clearly in agreement. And that's a straightforward offside decision. There's some movement in the dugout. We're going to get a change here. <laughs> 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. And it's now with Liverpool. Now, can he take them on? Not a good pass at all. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Good stretch by the goalkeeper to push that away from danger. Throw in for Liverpool. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. In towards Mane. Good try. Simple save. Yeah, could have saved that one with his eyes closed, I think. Successful tackle. Now the countdown is to ten minutes left. Time nearly up here. And just throw it forward a bit to their next game. Well, Liverpool go up against... And it's the header that misses the target. Yeah, not known for his aerial ability, this lad. Couldn't keep it down. It was uh, a useful position he found himself in. Well, the lad putting the cross in will be entitled to ask why he didn't do better there. Over the bar. Should have ended up in the back of the net for me. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Fabinho. Roberto Firmino. The shot gets blocked. When Liverpool have an off day, it's rare, but this is what happens. Yeah, and you have to say the defence has not covered itself in glory. Has a go here. That's a brilliant goal. There's no way this is going to make any difference to the result, but... He's just lifted the spirits a little bit, this consolation goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances, and he was. It's a goal. It's something to take with them as the final whistle goes in a few moments that they have scored right on the end of the game here, right on the final whistle, but not much more than that. No, Martin, a bad day at the office all round, and uh, plenty of work for the manager to do on that training ground. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now. The Scorer. Well, those defenders will be furious with that because they were seeing the game out quite comfortably, it seemed, but a little bit of loss of concentration and they've lost a the goal. Yeah, maybe you can understand it. It's been so... Uh easy for them out there that they've taken the foot off the gas threads it through he's through here well that should be the game you could call it another insurance goal surely they can't throw it away here pretty straightforward this match and the late goal sums it up really yeah they've just compounded their superiority with that one well, they want to see this again, this goal. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. 
He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. It is now an extraordinary lead, and you could say really game over. Never much doubt about which team is going to win this one. The referee has blown the final whistle, 4-1 the final score. Well, in cup ties, winning is all that matters, and they have won. Yeah, they've done the necessary, I think they just about deserved it. It was close at times, but yeah, uh, winners here. His teammates have recognised the potential. Have you got time for just a few questions? No, no further questions, thank you.